Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back in everyone here as they look at Longview right now with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Monsoor Law Firm. We're seeing some uh, warm temperatures to start our day today. Certainly warmer than yesterday. 52 the temperature right now in Longview. There's some fog developing mainly south of Interstate 20 this morning, so make sure to leave some extra time to get to your destination. But attention turns to tonight where we do have a threat for strong to severe thunderstorms between about 8 p.m. tonight and 6 o'clock in the morning on our uh, Friday morning. We're going to see damaging wind gusts as the primary severe weather concern, although tornadoes and large hail will also be possible. I have bumped up the tornado and large hail threat because it looks increasingly likely that we will get those isolated supercells developing, especially in our northeasternmost areas. So from Marshall up to uh, Orr City and Pittsburgh and points to the northeast heading closer to Texarkana, we are going to see the greater chance of seeing tornadoes and large hail. Uh, but pretty much all of us have that threat for damaging wind gusts as a line of thunderstorms is likely to develop. Flash flooding threat is low because the storm should be moving pretty quickly. Now here's a look at what Futurecast has going forward. We are going to see uh, again passing clouds for our day on Thursday. Temperatures upper 60s to low 70s in the afternoon. And then as we head into tonight after about 8 p.m. We're going to watch for this isolated activity to develop and we can uh, we'll see how much it strengthens right now. Futurecast has the activity along the Red River, but uh, could develop farther south depending on uh, how these uh, storms uh, take place uh, take shape here. So make sure to keep up to date with the latest forecast by 10 o'clock at night. We'll be still watching for isolated supercell development. Futurecast doesn't have it, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. Uh, the ingredients are certainly there and keep in mind that Futurecast is just one of the many model runs that we look at. But around 11 p.m. and midnight, a line of thunderstorms will develop. This is uh, almost a certainty here, and so uh, the only uncertain part about it is how strong this line of thunderstorms gets. If it does get strong enough, then 60 mile per hour wind gusts will be the primary severe weather concern along it, although can't rule out a brief tornado as well right along the leading edge of the squall line. By 2 o'clock in the morning Friday. The storms extend from Linden down to Marshall Center and into the into the Zavala area. And then as early as four, five o'clock, the storms will be getting out of here. So by this time tomorrow, the severe weather threat should be over, but then we turn our attention to the colder air that will filter in for the day on Friday. Here's a look at wind chill temperatures for noon on Friday. It's only going to feel like it's in the low to mid 30s out there with a few spots still feeling like the upper 20s by noon tomorrow. So it is going to get quite cold heading into the day on Friday. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to see that potential for wintry mix looking increasingly likely late Sunday into Monday was still yet to be seen as what kind of impacts we'll see. So so make sure to keep up to date with the latest forecast. We will see a hard freeze though Tuesday morning with temperatures well down into the tens. The coldest air likely since December of 2022.